fair warning, the bisexual in me is going to come out in this video. Hello and welcome back. So this month is National Women's History Month. Today, I want to talk about all the women that I look up to. A happy positive video, just giving my love to many people. So as silly as this might seem to some people, some of these women will be fictional characters and there will be actual real life women to talk about. The first set of women being the Sailor Senshi, but mainly my top three, Jupiter, Mars, and Saturn. Those three have always been my favorite. I grew up with Sailor Moon. I've been watching it since, oh man, since I was what, seven maybe? When it was coming out on Cartoon Network and they would be airing it at 4 p.m. after school. Every time I'm down, even now, people might say, you're too old for that, but I don't care and you know they they're just always people women that I've always looked up to when I was growing up but I wanted to be like them and and I was convinced that magical girls were real where I would pretend to transform into Sailor Moon in my living room whenever she would do it and I was just convinced but when they're down I'm down when they're happy I'm happy and when they get back up you know I'm just like I'm gonna get back up too because I want to be like them and the next woman would be Callie Duquesne from CSI Miami and I hope I'm saying her last name right I really liked Callie or I really like Callie because she's a real badass woman from the south from Louisiana and she moves to Miami duh it's called CSI Miami she's just so strong and she went through so much and she always got back up and was kicking ass. And I also like the fact that she was a woman from the South and you know, there were times when I would be very self-conscious about a Southern accent of mine. I mean, I don't know if you hear it so much in video, but I feel like a lot of people hear it more in person. I remember when I did a collab with Nick, he was mentioning that he heard the Southern more in person. It, it was just so cool to see and she made me a little bit uh, less self-conscious about that. And the last fictional character who I love is JJ from Criminal Mind. Pretty much for the same reasons that I love Callie. JJ is another badass woman and I'm always watching the reruns on Wii Channel. I was watching an episode last night. There was the bank robbery hostage situation that was happening. And this is when she was married to Will and had a kid, Henry. And at one point, the main woman that is part of the robbery was had broken into her house and she was watching over Henry but pretending to be a babysitter or whatever. And JJ goes in there and she's kicking ass and gosh, I love it. And there was another particular part or episode when Garcia is shot by her date. In the next episode, I believe, her date, the guy who shot her, goes into the the BAU headquarters office, whatever. You know, he's holding people hostage and whatever. And everybody's trying to like, oh, we can't really shoot him from here, he knows. But JJ kind of sneaks around and JJ and Penelope are best friends. They're like this, so JJ will do anything to protect her. And you just see at one point that I think the guy turns around and JJ just point like gets him. Oh, I love that scene so much. But yeah, JJ is. All right, now let's move on to some real life people, shall we? Free Larson. You might know her now, especially as the woman who is a part of Marvel. She plays Captain Marvel. I know her as the girl who was in Raising Dad and a couple of other shows and Hoot. And did you know that she was a singer? And she had a, a solo debut album out. And that's when I really started to love her. And I got to meet her when I was 12. I still have the photos somewhere around here. I remember I was tweeting her about two years ago, maybe. And I was like, I don't know if you remember me, but she said that she remembered me. I don't know if that's true. And I remember I replicated a, this was back in the MySpace days. And she had a, a photo of herself. And I also did that same type of photo and I uploaded it on a MySpace and I tagged her or whatever it was. And she went onto my profile and commented on that picture and I was so happy. And yes, it was her actual profile was verified or 
you know, whatever it was back then during the MySpace days. I just, I've loved her ever since. Caitlin Stacy. I have loved this woman since I first saw Tomorrow When the War Began, and that's been one of my favorite films since. Not only was Caitlin Stacy playing Ellie such a badass character, but Caitlin in real life is just amazing, and she actually helped me be more confident about body hair. I mean, I, I kept my body hair before I really knew who she was, I think, but showing it more often, not in the sense of like, look at me, I have body hair. If it's there, it's there. If it happens to show why I'm on stream, like I'm stretching or, you know, in person, whatever, I just stopped caring. And also being more comfortable with just parts of my body show that Instagram doesn't like. And, you know, I did a body positivity photo shoot type of thing that made me feel really good and you know she was helping me out with that because she had her own business or campaign or whatever where she was having people come in and do a photo shoot for her and she would be taking the pictures and I wanted to apply to that I think I did but I don't think I was accepted and I don't think she was really doing it anymore at that point that was a really cool thing to see and I, I love her Haley Kiyoko is a recent one I've done a favorites video I mentioned her in the December for Vlogmas. You know, last year I started talking more about being bisexual and listening to her album and watching her music videos just kind of really got me, it, it played a role in me being pumped to talk more about it. And now last but not least, let's mention a couple of YouTubers who I have looked up to for a while now. Just let me say that there are many, many YouTubers who I love who I look up to, and I may not be able to get to every single one of you because there's just so many, but just know that if we know each other, I do love you, and my brain sucks, my memory sucks, and I'll probably remember you three minutes after filming, and I'm sorry. <laughs> Stevie, Bobby, and Gabby Dunn, especially because I was talking to them many, many times about being bisexual and whatnot and just trying to, I guess, feel better or feel less inadequate or whatever because I was a newbie and like really expressing it and whatever and you know they just made me feel a lot more confident and comfortable. Francesca Ramsey and Lily Singh for being two badass women who made a name for themselves you know on the internet and other spaces just you know top notch. Annie, Andrea, Jessica, you can include Stevie in as well you know a couple of badass disabled women fellow disabled women, you know, I, I look up to them and they're all just so wonderful. I need Jessica and I to be in like the same spot so we can finally hug each other. I've hugged everyone else. I have not yet hugged Jessica. Can we make that happen, please? <laughs> so those are just a couple of people that I wanted to shout out and talk about and characters, you know. Let me know who you look up to. It can be fictional characters. It can be real actors. Just shout out some of our favorite women in the comments. If you would like to help translate this video, I'll have a link to do so down below. It's always very helpful and I thank you very much in advance. As always, I very much appreciate you watching and I will see you later. Bye. See you.